In this video I'm going to show you how to get uh, an application called Kodi which will let you get all the latest movies, TV shows all in one place without ads like having to go through loads of ads to get to the movie ads popping up during the movie. It's a simple application which only takes uh, a few minutes to set up so we'll get right to it. You want to go to just open up your web browser whatever you use Google Chrome, Firefox and just go to your search engine. You want to type in uh, Kodi TV and it should be the top link on the search you'll also get all the links in the description below uh, this video just go here and then you want to click on the top the top that says downloads just click downloads and for this uh, tutorial this is going to be for Windows I'll have uh, late, uh, in tutorials for Android and Apple iPad iPhones in the future and stuff so just click on Windows and that'll download in the bottom left. It's not a very, it's only a 67 megabyte file, so it shouldn't take too long to download. But yeah, just give that a few seconds. And while that's downloading, I'm also going to show you how to get the Fusion TV add on, which will give you lots of add ons, and the Super Repo, which gives you lots more add ons. And I'll also be showing you how to activate the add ons and install them and stuff. So now that that's downloaded, just, uh, just double click on it. This will probably take a few minutes because my security software decides it has to check before it installs anything. So bear with me two seconds just to just go through this. I think that's us now. Just you can minimize this in the meantime. <coughs> yep. Just hit yes if that pops up. And yep, now we're on the screen. You're just going to hit next and agree to the terms and conditions. Next again, then you want to uh, pick where you want it to save it to the directory. Where I just leave mine on my C drive program files. I just normally leave it on that drive. Just go to next. But I've already got one installed so. What you're going to want to do is just just hit next again. It'll go through the installation process, and it should bring you to. It'll bring you to this window here. This is just after the installation. You just want to click on Run Cody and click Finish. And Cody should open up now. Just takes a few seconds to load up for the first time, and here we go. Cody, right? So to add the Fusion TV add-ons, you're going to go right to the very end, the system, and you're going to go to File Management. It'll also install just some of the free basic add-ons down the bottom right. Just let that work away. You want to go to File Management Manager, Add Sources double click it and then in the top one you're going to double click there and type in http colon uh, forward slash forward slash f u s i o n dot t v a d d o n s dot a g http colon forward slash forward slash fusion dot tv add-ons dot ag as I say you'll find these links just copy and paste these you'll find them in the below the uh, the the video in the description just click done in the bottom left and then in the bottom box here you're going to name the source you want to call it fusion and just click done again and then click ok now to make sure that's definitely worked just double click on fusion underneath a route and if you've got these here then you know you're good to go so you want to go back to the main menu just click the wee house down the bottom here and you're going to go to system add-ons and this will pop up for the first time but just click OK you're going to install from zip file click on Fu double click fusion and then click start here and now you're going to install the plugin.video.hubwizard at the very bottom 1.1.9.zip. This number could be different if you're doing this at a different date if this has been updated, but it's 
the hub wizard one you want to install just double click that give it a few seconds you'll know it'll pop up down the bottom right when it's uh, finished installing there you go config wizard add it so you're gonna, gonna want to click the house the home button down the bottom right and you're going to go to programs this time click config wizard now as this is a windows tutorial i'm going to click windows but it's basically works the same for any device but for this one we're going to click windows and we're going to click would you like tv add-ons.ag to customize your add-on selections we're going to click yes now this will do its thing it'll take a wee second to install some stuff here just bear with it at a hundred percent this is it it's just takes a few seconds to do the second one and then we'll show you how to install super repo which also adds hundreds of more add-ons that you can install and then I'll show you like some of the basic add-ons I would use like for uh, certain things Right, that's that done. Now you're going to want to go. We'll just add the next add-on, and then we'll sh or the next repo, and then we'll show you how to get the add-ons. Go to System again, File Manager. If this comes up, I guess just keep clicking the top bit to go back until you get the Add Source. Double click Add Source again. Double click the top one and type in HTTP colon forward slash forward slash SRP dot nu srp dot nu as I say you'll find this link in the description below just click done bottom left and you're going to name this one s u super repo just name it you can this can be named whatever you want but I just like to name it after the the add-on so I just named it super repo and then just click done click OK and to make sure it's definitely worked OK just double click it and if you've got these then you know you're good to go uh, go to your home screen again the wee house down the bottom go to system add-ons install from zip file now you're looking for super repo and if you're this is this version of uh, Kodi I'm using is Helix it'll tell you the version when you download it or when you're starting Kodi up this is so we're going to click on helix because this is the helix version you're going to click on all and then you're going to click on the, the very bottom one repository.superrepo.org.helix.all slash latest.zip just double click that this will install more add-ons you'll see down the bottom right when it's finished doing it super repo all helix add-on enabled so that's us done there so now go back to the home page and go to videos click on add-ons now it's adding it's doing a lot of updates down here it's just adding add-ons from super repo and fusion.tv so if you go over to the very left here there's a wee tab with an arrow pointing it just go over hover over this this will make it easier to see your add-ons just click this until you see a thumbnail there we go now this will let you see your add-ons a lot better now I'll show you a couple how to get the add-ons. You go when you go to this. Oh, we'll do that from the start again. To get your add-on, your TV add-ons, you go to videos, add-ons, and if you want to get more, it'll add them into here. Go to the very bottom. That it says get more, and I'll just show you some of the ones I use. Now it brings up a whole list of all these add-ons. There's a lot of add-ons in here. These a lot of these I don't know what to get here, what to do. But there's Amazon Prime Instant, for instance. Uh, but I'll go to if you go right down it's all in alphabetical order so if you go to I go to I and you're wanting this one called I live stream live this will get you like all the sports and stuff if you like football 
if you just click, just left click on it and click install, that'll download and install. Now Ice Films is already installed. It installs some of the most popular ones for you, but you can find there's you can go through these there's and pick which one you want. You can Google which ones are the best and install the best ones. But that's just how you do it. You just click it and click install and it'll download and then if you go back to your add-ons page there it is so the one I use for movies is Genesis just click on Genesis and go to movies and then you can click you can either go box office box office by year you can pick what one or you can go to in the theaters this will show you all the movies what's in the theaters as you can see here lots of movies recent movies I'll do one for it just to show you how it definitely works I'll use wildcard just click it left click it it'll take a wee second just to load it it'll bring up a list of different uh, sites to stream it from we'll just pick this one for instance movie tube Maybe take a wee second. Yeah, is it working now? Sometimes it just takes a wee second to register. And there we go. 720p. Just fast forward and do a bit to show you it. You can change your screen. Oh. This one down the camcorder reel thing down the bottom right. You can change the. to make it fit the screen. Whatever one suits you best. I normally just keep it on normal. So there we go. That's it working. This works for most of the videos in there, the the, the movies. Plus, there's like you can go right back years ago and get all the movies. So I'm gonna wrap the video up there for now. And uh, videos in the future, I'll show you how to get the the PVR working, where you can get your live TV channels like your BBCs, your Comedy Centrals, stuff like that. And there will be a lot more tutorials coming for Cody and other things in the future so if you've really enjoyed this video and it's helped you out a lot I'd appreciate if you uh, subscribe to the channel hit that like button and leave any comments if you need to know any info about Cody or anything want to see any tutorials about anything else just leave it in the comments section below and I'll see you in the next video thanks for watching